So joining us now to talk about the list and what it could mean for the governance of the country is Richard Roth. He is the founder of the Roth Law Firm. And Kelsey Harkness is a visiting fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. She's a senior writer for the Heritage Foundation as well. Thank you both for being with us. Thanks for having us. Uh, Richard, it seems like the president is taunting Howard Schultz into running, saying you don't have the guts. Do you really think if he does run, it hurts the Democrats significantly? You know, it's interesting. It could really hurt the Democrats because there are a lot of people out there that do not want Donald Trump. And if, they, if the vote is split between the Democratic candidate and Howard Schultz, it could very well put Trump back, keep Trump in the White House. So we don't know. Trump's taunting is a smart move. It's a political move, as Chris Christie said. Uh, him, uh, Howard Schultz running as an independent could be the best thing that happens to Donald Trump. However, the only, the only question mark we have is that Howard Schultz is essentially a Donald Trump. He's mm -hmm. not a pol politician. He hasn't been in government. He's run businesses. And he's also a more, it seems like a more presentable, logical, less crazed Donald Trump, so he could pull some of the Trump voters to his side. The Democrats should worry if Howard Schultz runs as an independent. The Democrats should worry. Uh, Kelsey, to uh, Richard's point, should some of the Republicans worry that uh, Schultz could attract uh, some moderate conservatives? I don't think many Republicans are worried about uh, this potential announcement. I think it's more Democrats who are rightly concerned right now mm -hmm. about uh, Schultz potentially splitting the vote. And look, I think this speaks to a larger problem among Democrats, where you have um, someone who has identified as a Democrat in the past now say basically say the party is too um, far to the left for mm -hmm. him. And and I think that that's, that's a problem for Democrats, because obviously it runs the risk of, of splitting the vote. But um, speaking, you know, more Broadly, I think there are still a lot of moderate blue dog Democrats in this country. And if the Democrats keep ostracizing them by embracing these far left radical policies um, like open borders, abolishing ICE, uh, they're, they're, they're going, this is the mess they're going to have to deal with. Uh, members who, who in the past would identify as Democrats running as independents. This is not about this is not about far left liberal policies. I saw Schultz's interview. He didn't say it's the far left. He said I don't necessarily associate with anyone. And four years ago, there were twenty Republicans running. The only reason why Howard Schultz wants to be an independent is because he doesn't want to associate with any party. He wants to do something different, which but, generally but has Richard, failed. There, there is a pull to the left within the Democratic Party. We're seeing it with the uh, fresh members of Congress. Do you not get a sense that some of the Democrats are trying to out left the next one? There are, there is a pull to the left, but what happens in any election, every election, is that the Democrats and the Republicans will, the convention they will be left, and then after the convention they go more centrist. You're right, people like Bernie Sanders hurt the Democrats. People like uh, uh, Castro, who just got just got Cortez elected, is, Cortez is a big hurt hit the Democrats because they go left. But I don't think those those are, if you will, the exception of Bernie Sanders. Not necessarily who the Democrats are following. Democrats are following the moderate Democrats. At the end of the day, they always move left, just the Republicans move right. But when it comes to general election, you want to, you want to be more centrist. So it's a very common pheno phenomenon. I don't think there will be more left. There are some leftist uh, con congressmen who have, who have been, who have won elections. But the Democratic base is, st is not this radical left base that I'm hearing from Donald Trump. I'm hearing out of, out of, out of you know, in, in this, in this story. It's just a, there's a there's a moderate democratic base and there's a more left de de democratic base. It's not it's it's gone that far left. Well, so far not necessarily. Uh, Kelsey, we know that uh, Hillary Clinton says she hasn't uh, quite uh, closed the door on a 2020 run. C can we all agree that that's a bad idea? She Go has ahead, to Kelsey. close the door. The best line was when on Saturday Night Live, yes. when on Saturday Night Live, when McKinnon said, "I wish the election were today." After Donald Trump's crazy um, disclosure to, to to Bush, and that was the case. Hillary Clinton has to close that door and move on. I think we agree on that, Chelsea, yeah, don't I, we? Is it, I think that's a point of agreement. Kelsey, go ahead. Uh, well, you know, I, I would say probably a lot of Republicans and conservatives would love to see Hillary Clinton run, just like uh, <laughs> this Howard Schultz potential uh, running would be a good thing for a lot of conservatives. Um, but I would just push back on your previous point about uh, the, the 2020 candidates. 
I would ask which one of them is presenting a moderate agenda, because uh, they, among the, the ones who have announced thus far, there aren't any who are running on a moderate platform that could attract those voters um, who are in the middle, who in 2016 and, and before that went for President Trump. I'll name you two. Is Elizabeth Warren a radical leftist? Is Kamala Harris a radical, radical leftist? Her tax yes. plan, sir. Yes, she, yeah. well, I guess I, I was going to say, Richard, uh, the, the Elizabeth Warren tax plan is, is pretty leftist. She wants to impose a, a I, new I bigger I give you on the, on the tax wealthy. plan, but I don't think she's a radical. So the point is, I guess, I guess the best attack is to call someone radical or out of line. They are leftists. There is a democratic, if you will, proponent of this, but it doesn't mean they're radical. Um, I would submit to you that Kamala Harris is central leftist, not radical. I would say Elizabeth Warren, her tax plan is definitely out there, but she's a central leftist. Um, we'll see. It's early. Well, we know she likes to drink. Michael you. Bloomberg. Michael Bloomberg. Is, uh, an, is not going to be a radical leftist. I think we can agree on that, Chelsea. If he chooses to run as a Democrat this time. Uh, Kelsey, who do you think could be the biggest threat to President Trump from the Democratic field? I think right now someone like Joe Biden would be a big threat to President hmm. Trump because I think he attracts a lot of Are you just saying that to encourage uh, Joe Biden to run? Workers. Are you no, just saying that right. to encourage I, Joe I Biden? I genuinely to run. think that he would he would pose a I genuinely think he would pose um, some competition for President Trump because they both attract these sort of blue collar workers. But the thing is, President Trump's agenda is working right now for these blue collar workers. The economy is doing great. Unemployment is reaching record lows. Um, so you know, if Trump can run on that and and keep reminding people how well the economy is doing, I think he has a fair shot. And I do I do agree with Chelsea that I don't know if there is a really a strong candidate right now to really go run against Trump. I think Joe Biden is probably, if you will, the front runner and probably has the best chance. But isn't he? But I don't know if and we've done that. He's not fresh, to I put agree it mildly. With you. And and I think age is experience. Don't get me wrong. I'm many things, but an ageist is not one of them. But he's not fresh. Is he exciting to voters? And the problem with the Democrats right now is there really is no one who's young, fresh, and exciting. That's you the problem. You are young, fresh, and exciting. Richard Ross <laughs> I'm and not Kelsey Harkness, so are you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you both so much for being on the show. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you.